The Steam Deck is one of the best handhelds right now. However, the screen is a big flaw. Fortunately, now we can easily calibrate the Steam Deck screen with software, and it will have a much better visual experience compared to the original screen. This calibration is available on SteamOS as well as Windows 10 and 11. I think the result is pretty amazing. You will not want to go back to the stock screen after this guide. I will go over how to do this in both SteamOS and Windows. Now let's jump into the tutorial. For the SteamOS, first press the Steam button and let's go to the settings. Then under System, make sure the System Update channel is set at Stable. Then we need to turn on Enable Develop Mode by pressing button A. Now you will be able to see the Develop option at the last row under Settings. Under the Developer, we need to find CEF Remote Debugging and turn this on. After it's enabled, we need to restart the system. After the system is rebooted, now switch back to the desktop mode. After getting into desktop mode, we have two steps need to be done here. Step 1. Set up a sudo password for your Steam OS. If you have already done the sudo password setup before, you can skip to step 2. Click the start menu. Under system, click and open the console. Inside of the console, we need to type PASSWD, then hit the enter key on your keyboard. Now we are required to set up a new password. When you are typing the password here, nothing will show up on the screen. This is normal. Just make sure remember the password. So type in your password and hit the enter key on the keyboard. Now retype the password again and hit the enter key again. It should say password update successfully. That means you have successfully set up the sudo password for your Steam OS. In step 2, we will need to install the Decky Loader and the Vibrant Deck plugin. We are still inside of the console. Copy this installation code from the pinned comment under this video and paste into the console. Then hit the Enter key on your keyboard. It will ask for the sudo password that we have just set up in step 1. So just type in your sudo password and hit the Enter key again. Now the deck loader will be installed in few seconds. After the installation is done, we can close the console and switch back to the gaming mode. Once we get back to the gaming mode, just press the quick access button. We will see a new plug icon show up at the bottom row. That is the decky loader. Let's go inside the decky loader and select the right top corner icon and press button A. Now we can see all the plugins here, but I highly suggest only install the Vibrant Deck. And this is the only plugin that you need because it is a game changer for the Steam Deck. Just keep in mind, if you install too many plugins, it will cause unstable system and crash the games. Just hit the button A to process the Vibrant Deck installation. Once it is done, we can press button B to exit the decky loader. Now if we press the quick access button under the decky loader, we will see the Vibrant Deck. Just click on the Vibrant Deck and it will show all the settings. The only setting that we need to adjust is the saturation level. The Steam Deck default level is 100. I personally like setting it at 125 to 130 and it looks much better than the stock screen. Of course, you can change the saturation level anytime by just simply pressing the quick access button. This great feature will be just next to your finger. I have never had any game crashes with the Vibrant Deck so far. And remember, I don't have any other plugins at all on my deck. I also don't have Proton GE on my Steam OS. I prefer to keep my Steam OS as clean as possible. But I do have Windows installed on an SD card. This is all for the Steam OS. For the Windows 10 or 11, there are two pre-requirements before we start.
First, you need to make sure the latest APU driver, which was released on November 8, 2022, has been installed onto your Steam Deck. If you have not done this, please update your APU driver first. The new APU driver will boost gaming performance and compatibility. Second, make sure the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015-2022 has been installed on your Windows. If you don't have this yet, I have the download link under my video description so you can grab from there. Once we have those two pre-requirements on our Windows, now we need to go to AMD website to download AMD software version 22.10.3. I already have linked this website under the video description and click download the software from here. It took me 3 minutes to download, especially at the last 0 seconds. It will take a while, so please be patient. After the download is complete, we can click open in folder. Please remember, do not install this exe file. What we need to do is to use 7-zip to extract this exe file. Make sure you use 7-zip software. Otherwise, this process will fail. This extraction process will take about 1 minute. After it's complete, then click the extracted folder and go to this location as shown on my screen. Some folders will take about 30 seconds to open, so just be patient here. After we get into this folder, we need to find ccc2-install. Double click and install this file. It took me 5 minutes to open up this software here, so wait for a while, but if you are still not able to open this file, just reboot your Steam Deck and try again. It should open next time. Click yes to process the installation. It will took about 2 minutes to finish the installation here. After the process is done, just click close. Now we can close all the windows. Now type AMD in the search bar. We will see the AMD setting software show up. Click and run the software. The first time boot up is a little bit slow, it took me about 35 seconds. Once it booted up, just go to the right top corner and click the setting button. Then go to the left side, click on display. Next, click custom color and enable this feature. Now I will put my favorite numbers in and this is just for your reference. I will just quickly show the difference between my settings and the Steam Deck stock setting. I think this is really a big visual improvement. Also, I have tested this on Windows 11 and it works flawless. This is all for Windows 10 and 11. I hope this video can help you game better on the Steam Deck. I have spent so many hours putting all those together. To test, I need to install both Windows 10 and 11 on my Steam Deck. And you guys see here, please consider subscribing to my channel because your support is extremely useful and will enable me to progress and create better videos. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching.